Does anybody else eat the fur of the kiwis? And how do kiwis eat kiwis? Those are the questions for today. My name is James Evenson. I'm a mechanic, a musician, and a round-the-world sailor. Four years ago, I'd sold everything and made some interesting life choices. I bought a catamaran, built a hardtop, sailed to Cuba, painted shark's teeth on the front of the cat, met a girl, lost a rudder, built a rudder in a shed, lost the other rudder, built a rudder on the beach, dressed in drag, made coffee in a sock, dressed in drag again, sailed to Easter Island, sank the dinghy, sailed to Pitcairn, sank the dinghy again, sailed to French Polynesia, sank the dinghy one more time, got a new dinghy. I meant to do that. Sailed to Hawaii. Shipwrecked in Hawaii. Rode the catamaran down the street at 3 o'clock in the morning. Wrote some magazine articles. Started a Kickstarter campaign. Broke up with the girl. Flew to Curacao. And now, I'm finally grinding my way back to life on the water and my next adventure. What's up, boys and girls? I thought I'd do a little update for you guys. So, this is where I'm at. This is my floor. These are new batteries, one, two, in 24, and I hooked up all of the house and the starting to those. And then I got one more starting battery right there. That's going to go in here to start the generator. So I just spent $600 on three starting batteries, which I would have needed anyway. So it was money I had to spend. But... I hooked it up and now I have no freaking 12 volt power or 24 volt power except the bilge pumps. So the bilge pumps work, nothing else works. And I'm trying to do the, I'm trying to get the fresh water and there's, there's a, a little pump here, little, these things, the manual ones, you just step on, this is the salt water one, this is the fresh water one, and this is what the fresh water one turned out to be. I tried to rebuild it but... It's pissing water. It's just pissing water. So I had fresh water for like two seconds and then it just all drains into the bilge. And so I have to get another one of these probably before. I, I don't know if this shouldn't be on a pressurized system. So um, I don't think it'll be a big deal. I just put a plug in it, a wood plug. That's for the, uh, the overboard valves. So I still can't do dishes and I still don't have power. But I have batteries, and uh, yeah, that's gonna go. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Oh, I also opened the um, fuel tank and checked the fuel, and the fuel is totally screwed. So I found a guy in the marina that will give, bring me two 55-gallon drums tomorrow, and I will pump it all into there, and he'll take it away because he's gonna clean it and use it in his truck. Yeah. Okay, so that's happening, man. I still have no power though. I have I have um, cooking uh, propane though now. So I can almost call this a home. <laughs> Wish me luck. So my sink doesn't drain because this is a hand pump to, to push it out because the through hole is actually, I think it's above the sink itself, you know, like, it, so there's the, there's the valve. Here's the line. It comes down, it goes to the back of this valve. You can either use the hand pump, which is this thing, to pump it out oops that thing right there right there uh or you can use that mass uh, macerator pump right there uh which is not working so there's a new macerator pump here somewhere it's somewhere oh here it is and uh that's probably why he bought that but now i've got like two gallons of water in the sink that's gonna get everywhere if I open that, so that's fun. And this is the last thing I'm doing, because this means I'm gonna be able to cook now. Look, I did dishes for the first time. Yay, dishes. Fan, mosquito net, I put the pillows all around so it doesn't come out, but anyway, it's all clean. So I've cleaned everything. Everything is clean now, my guitar. So it's taken me a week, but I've finally gotten to a point where I am good to go. I'm ready. Oh, these this, these are covers. And these covers, I found a whole set of them for the outside ones here too. So as soon as I put those on, it'll look a lot better in here. Uh, I think they're for these ones too. But look at this, this is trash. This is all trash, trash. Everything in here is trash. But yeah, I'm gonna put the bimini atop today. 
And then I'm ready to do the video. I'm just finally gonna not be OCD. These clutches are fine. The instruments, two of them are bad. You see how this one's bad, but this one's not. This one will be okay. Two of these are bad, two of these are good. That's fine, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm not even gonna rebuild the winches yet. And uh, I have propane I can cook, and I've got water I can clean. Woo hoo! Okay, these ceiling panels are just falling off now. Look, all this old Velcro needs to be redone. Look how many staples there are, that's craziness. All right, wish me luck. All right, I have gone through the whole boat. Cockpit cushions, sails. The sails in really good shape, so that's good. These are like, um, does anybody know what fabric this is? It's not regular Dacron, it's like tri-radial shit. All the running rigging, running rigging. There's a bunch of dive gear in here, like probably 10 different um, masks and snorkels and stuff. These are all my ceiling panels that have fallen down because all the Velcro's screwed, and then there's three new hatches behind it. These things you can actually see now. I found five coolers. Five! These are spares. This is, I don't know what to do with this. This is the ultimate beverage dispensing system. Look at this thing. Anyway, it's like a little pump for dispensing beverages. I guess, you know what guys, should I throw this away or what? I mean, it's all this shit. I don't know if I should throw those away. Never had to dispose of one before. Tools. I went through all the tools. There's a shitload of tools. This thing was full of spares. This is a huge box. It's huge. It's like, it's probably three and a half feet long. And really, it's only half full, so that's going to go. Um, I want to be able to use this space. This is all stuff that I need to do my job before I get out of the marina. Um, well, actually, some of it's before, some of it's after. This is all for the winches. Um, resealing this hatch. You know, impellers and stuff like that. I found some new um, acrylic for the one of the port lights. I'm going to get some more of those because all the port lights are really crazed. Some new fans. All, most of this stuff can wait until I'm in the water, but uh, yeah, here we go. There's the bimini. I'm going to put the bimini up because it's freaking hot here. Uh, the Dodger can wait though. And then I've got this, much, this area pretty much clean now. I'm looking for the um, paperwork for the customs and I can't find it. The only thing I can find is this and I don't think that's it. So, yeah, that's a big problem. I can't get anything shipped here because of it. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but now I can finally, I've gone through the whole boat just now. So I'm going to start throwing away all this bullshit. So I figured you guys would dig this. This will be my last day eating this, but this is what I've been surviving on for the last uh, week. Jalapeno peppers, a can of sardines, a can of tuna fish, some hot sauce, and some Melba toast. Because I have no refrigeration or propane. Uh, I got the propane working though, so I'm gonna go get some, some stuff I can actually cook, vegetables and stuff. I still don't have refrigeration though. I need dock power for that, and the dock power line isn't long enough, so I need to get like a extension or wait until I go in the water, so. I'm not really too worried about it, but I would like to eat something better than this crap. Uh, there's no option to go out to eat around here either. There are only one place that opens at 5 p.m. and one place that is closed on Saturday and Sunday, so that's my food. <laughs> it's part of it. If you want to get a cheap boat that's not ready to go, <laughs> that's something you got to think about, you know. You're not going to have refrigeration for a while. You're not going to have power for a while. You're not going to have, you know, you better be okay subsisting on canned food. I've been checking the through holes all day. Um, I'm thinking of replacing a few of the valves and I found this on my table when I came in here. This is the top to a strainer and I really wasn't sure where the strainer was, but I found it and it's right here. Check this out. This thing is completely like rusted in there. I honestly don't know if it's even worth trying to fix it because I have to replace the basket and the basket alone is 60 bucks and the whole strainer is 200 so I might as well just replace the whole strainer um, make it easy on myself usually I would try to repair it but um, and I got so much stuff to do I don't know if I want to sit here and try to like you know 
spend three hours repairing this. This is for the freezer, so it needs to be good when I put it in the water. That way I can use the freezer. What do you guys think? This is the ball valve. It's actually not um, that bad in condition. I could probably just replace the handle, but I'm going to check all of them. Make sure I uh, all of them look pretty messed up. I finally got a mailing address, and I'm starting to order um, all the stuff that I actually have to have to, to get out of Curacao. So I'm rebuilding all of these port lights, putting new acrylic, because the acrylic's pretty cheap, um, and of course O-rings. Uh, there's seven of them, and I'm also getting O-rings for the, this window. I'm rebedding this window with butyl tape, O-ring for this window, O-rings for these hatches here which are different sizes and then I've got this hatch new and then there's a new one there's two more for the back so all the hatches are getting either replaced or rebuilt and that way nothing will leak I hope the side windows are going to be okay I'm gonna have the boat sanded tomorrow I'm having the yard do that I just don't like doing it it it's, makes me sick I they're gonna charge me 380 bucks then I'll be able to see if any of the through holes need replaced because they have paint on them now. What I have left to do in my, my to-do list and order list is uh, I need to get some Spartite, I need to get a couple of whale foot pumps, um, and I need to grease the prop, grease the rudder, tune up the engine, paint the bottom, buff the sides of the boat. Uh, I don't have a buffing machine, but I'm going to try to borrow one from someone, and I'll probably do that myself just because I could save the money. I don't know, it depends. I don't know how long that takes. Does anybody know how long it takes to buff a boat, a 50 foot boat? Let me know. So one thing I forgot was the projection. So I'm thinking that I will be in the water one week from today. And uh, <laughs> right now the boat is bonded in the marina. So the time on the clock stops, it's like on pause. You get six months on your clock when you check in to Curacao and then you need to leave the country within six months. So I don't know what's on the clock. That's the problem. So as soon as I leave the marina, the clock restarts, and I gotta go to customs and see exactly how much time is on there because I would, I'd prefer not to have to pay the marina. I could just go drop a hook in like three miles away. Um, yeah, but I don't know if I'm able to. So hopefully there's like a month left on the clock and I can just get out of here and not and do most of the rest of this stuff in the water, not paying six hundred dollars a month. So hopefully by Monday I'm out of the, I'm out of the marina. I might have to stay on the dock. Well, I got good news and bad news. One is that I rented a car and my buddy's gonna let me stay at his place. So I'm gonna be able to sleep at night because I didn't sleep again last night because the bugs and the heat. It is so hot here, so hot. It's hotter than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> I think I might have fried my computer because it's just crashing now and uh, overheating. I hope I didn't burn it up, but I'm gonna try to get into somewhere with AC and see if it'll uh, snap back to life. Maybe put it in the freezer for, for a little while or something. But it's so hot, I can't even edit video on this thing. So I'm just gonna leave the boat for a couple days. I'm, I'm gonna stop doing any, anything. Um, the boat's sanded now, it's the, the bottom's completely done. It took the guys about two hours, two guys. So it's ready for paint. It, um, I got the rudder ready to drop. I'll show you guys what's up with the rudder real quick so you, maybe you guys can help me brainstorm on that one. Okay, so this is the grease fitting that uh, you just uh, twist the top of that and it goes down that tube and down into here and into the rudder. And then this is the rudder. So here's the steering cables here and there. And then there's the rudder itself, the shaft. This is the emergency tiller. Uh, this is the autopilot. That's the packing. Um, I don't see anything coming out underneath it, but uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm not really sure what to do here. I guess I'm gonna have to take the quadrant off and take this piece off and uh, take these bolts out. And then maybe I can get in there and see what's up without dropping the rudder, maybe, maybe. 
I'm not sure. Anyway, that's where the grease fitting goes all the way down into here. Maybe it just needs more grease. I did, I mean, I used an entire tube. So there's a place on the island that repairs computers, but it's going to take two weeks. Um, and they don't have any parts, so they, that's what they have to wait two weeks for. So I'm going to try to rig up some kind of fan thing just to be able to get these videos out and then turn it in. I'll do all the editing right now. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of like at this like teetering, oh shit kind of moment. I think I might have to just maybe buy another computer What would be uh, an option, but they're pretty expensive here. A MacBook Air is 1400 bucks. MacBook Pro is like 3000 uh, They don't have any iMacs. They're out of them. So I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure what to do. The, the, the girl with the batteries said that she'd hold them for me, so I can wait until next month to buy them, and that money would go towards the computer maybe okay that's what's going on in James world right now she's a pretty one I'm gonna um, buff the hull before it goes in the water too so it's all shiny and pretty that'll be easier to do out of the water than in so I'm, th I'm figuring three th three hole through holes and the rudder and the buff maybe a week all right guys check it out I've got 400 amp hours at 12 volts so 200 amp hours at 24 of Dakota lithium batteries, um, 2200 bucks for the whole thing. And she was cool and she let me pay her half now and she's gonna let me pay her half later because I just found a bunch of through holes in the boat that need changed. And because the thread's different than the ones they sell here, I gotta actually change the entire through hole, the through hole and the ball valve inside. So one of them is this size, this is three quarter inch, and four of them are inch and a half. So it's gonna cost me they have the parts here and roughly $210 a piece for the inch and a half ones and like $75 a piece for the for the smaller ones and then um, I took the screws out of here and uh, removed the seal from this around this so I could drop it but now that um, after talking with uh, the oyster guy I'm thinking I don't have to drop it oh uh, I th I'm thinking that maybe I can just undo the packing so maybe I can free it up from inside we'll see oh boy so much work <laughs> yeah that's the old dinghy guys that thing that was like piled up in a ball. I thought that thing was trash. Well, it turns out it's not. We're looking for leaks and cleaning all the mold out of it. This side's a little worse. Whoa, look how bad this is. Crazy. So it's upside down right now. We got one leak. That's leaking right there. And then this side's good. We got one here. That's a big one. One here. Another here. One here. One here. There from the middle to the back. You're gonna put a patch from here all the way back. Yeah. If not, there's gonna be a lot of small patches that can remove. Okay. So not toward it. Okay. And then um, that the should be about it. And here you have three. One, two, it's three. Looking good though. I think it's gonna be salvageable. Woohoo! gonna get patched this is the patching station look this is a whole roll of hypalon right here he said it cost him like 4,500 bucks for this big roll of hypalon today is through hole day I'm gonna start doing my vlog vlog I guess I'm gonna do like some uncut we'll see how that works just to make it easier on me and make more content for you guys and show you exactly what I'm doing so this is what I'm up to so I'm just gonna switch the camera around Okay, so the boat's been cleaned. I've got the new lithium batteries here. I haven't hooked them up yet. I've got starting batteries down here with chargers on them. Right now they're just hooked up 12 volts because those are two 12 volt chargers I got with the lithium. And so I've just taken them out of series and charging them. Because last night 
I came to the boat and there was zero power because I had left the water on and the bilge pump and this thing broke. This is a foot pump. So the water's connected to that in pressure, I guess. So um, it just exploded last night and there was, my bilge was totally full. Batteries were totally drained. And when I hooked up the chargers to the batteries, the um, pump under here went on. So anyway, today is a uh, through hole day and I need to change this through hole for sure because it's just the ball valve doesn't work and the ball valve is British standard pipe thread and the through hole is standard pipe, uh, British standard pipe thread and the only through holes I can get are NPT. So this one has to go. The problem is I don't have a wrench big enough for this. So here's my tools. I did get a lot of tools, uh, but this is the biggest wrench I have which is a 15 inch crescent and it's just not big enough. So I'm gonna go to the store and buy a new wrench. And uh, you know, if I just had to buy a few tools, that's not bad. I mean, I got a lot. There's even a staple gun here. There's tons of, tons of tools. There's an EPIRB from like 1974. Um, yeah, so that through hole needs changed. This one does, that one does. This one's really bad, look at that. I mean, it's actually not bad. I, I scratched it, it looks okay, but I'm still gonna change it, why, why not? That one needs changed. And then there's one up in the head that's a two inch one that's gonna be super expensive. I don't know whether to change it or not. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, so check this out. What we are is we're in the head, yeah? This is the shower. Fucking shower, that's funny. Okay, so this is the holding tank. So a stainless steel one, tested in 97. It looks to me like it was leaking from here and they just cut out that those lines underneath here you can see that that line is capped off there and then this is the um, tank or overboard valve and the other side of it's just plugged and then this is the big problem and the question look at the size of this valve that thing is stuck it's been closed so long that it's painted over inside. Now, it is closed, and it looks good. So do I leave it, or do I change it? It's going to cost probably $350 to change that. Because <sighs> i got to get a ball valve and a through hole. Uh, now, if I change it now, then I don't have to change it later, which means I don't have to pull the boat out. Uh, I'm probably going to need this tank sometime in the future. So right now, this toilet just goes overboard. There's no way to use this tank. I'd have to take the tank out, replace the tank, replace the hoses, and then replace that, because that's the overboard for the macerator. That also doesn't exist. So I'll tell you what, I'm not, I'm not gonna get a macerator, and I'm not gonna get uh, a tank, a macerator, and a, a through, through hole here. So it's a moot point, it's just, you know, do I wanna change the through hole now so I don't have to pull the boat out to make this into a head later? What are your thoughts? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is James. Thank you so much for watching my video. If I kept your attention to the end, please consider hitting that like button right there. And if you haven't yet, please mash that subscribe button too. If you'd like to get notifications for when I upload a new video about the refit of the oyster, please hit the bell right here. One last thing, shirts are back on sale. They're on bonfire.com. If you'd like to get yourself one, please go to the link in the top of the description. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Much love.